going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back for another episode of Pokemon Diamond, Amy's fourth journey through the world of Pokemon. Last time, we made it here to Sunny Shore City, where the roads are hazardous because they are made of uh, solar panels. We met a member of the Elite Four in Flint, who Amy uh, hilariously thought, uh, hoped, not thought, hoped, uh, would use Steel-type Pokemon, because that would be amazing. I'm still so happy that you said that. Um, but unfortunately, we found out he only uses Fire-type Pokemon. Whatever. <laughs> Could have had an amazing opportunity, and he screwed it up. Yep. Anyway, uh, but yes, we met Flint, who asked us if we would give the gym leader in this town uh, a good fight, because he has kind of lost his love of the fight. Um and so we have to see if we can do that. This is what our team currently looks like. Uh, if we are going up against the gym leader, which actually we have to go explore first, if you recall, because when we went to the gym, he wasn't there. Uh, so we might have to go explore around the city a little bit. So um, I believe we already spoke to this woman last time, but there's another woman hiding over here. You want to talk to her? Yeah. This is a major port town, and... It's the gateway to the Pokemon League. All right, we already spoke to her as well because we went up these stairs last time and then we looped all the way around and came back down here. So do you want to go back up the stairs to the walkway or just keep going north here? I don't know. Just keep going north, I think. Okay. So there's the Mart. I believe we went in this house as well. This was the yeah, Sunny Shore we Market where well. we went. Let's go to the Mart. I'm sure we need to buy a bazillion things. <laughs> okay. Do you want to talk to the people in the... Actually, you know what? We probably should have talked to the people at the Pokemon Center. Do you want to talk to the people in the Mart or just buy stuff? Uh, let's talk to the people at the Mart. You can buy seals for decorating Pokeballs at the Sunny Shore Market. Use those seals in a cool way and your Pokemon will be impressed. Don't care. I've heard about the Victory Road, which leads to the Pokemon League. The word is the road is harsh and harrowing. I better load up on as many items and medicine as I can carry. This doesn't have a second level. No. Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Potion, Super Potion, Hyper Potion, Max Potion, Revive, Antidote, Paralyze, Heal, Awakening, Burn Heal, Ice Heal, Full Heal, Escape Rope, Repel, Super Repel, Max Repel. Basically, they have anything that you can think of. No, they don't have anything we actually need. Oh. I guess Hyper Potions, Max Potions. We have eight Hyper Potions currently. Max potions, again, unless you're talking about Blissey, max potions are a waste of money. Okay. Because they're more than Super twice. Super potions? We have three. All right, so let's get some of those, I guess. How many total do you want, those supers? I don't know, ten. Okay, and how many hypers total do you want? You said we have eight of them. Correct. Uh, that's probably fine. Okay, and then of regulars, we have five. Okay. Do you think we need any more Ultra Balls? We have no. 17. Okay. Uh, revives, we have nine. Let's have like, uh, yeah, that's probably fine. Okay, and then full heals, we have seven. It's probably also fine. Okay. Any repels or anything? We have two maxes. Oops, sorry. Two maxes, one super, four regular. Yeah, let's buy a couple of maxes. How many is a couple? Literally just two more? Yeah. Okay. Very good. I don't think we'll use them, but at least we'll have them. Okay. All right. So then we want to go where? Uh, well, keep going north, I guess. Sure. So there's a sign here that says it's a blank sign painted white. So we came down from here at the end of the last episode or towards the end of the last episode. Whatever the environment, people in Pokemon adapt to live there. That's what we all do to survive. Okay. Oh, you wanted to talk to the people at the center? Yeah. Er, um, my name is Jasmine and I'm a gym leader. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, not the gym leader of this town. I'm a gym leader in the Johto region. Oh. Do you remember her? No. Psh, okay. Er, 
Um, it would be nice if you knew about the Johto region. Oh, if you don't have the gym badge, you'll be forced to turn back. What? In other words, trying to go this way. If you don't have the gym badge from this area, you'll be forced oh. to turn back from here. I was like, the Johto gym badge? <laughs> like, what? This city makes me feel at home somehow. It's next to the sea, and there's a lighthouse. Oh. Do you remember her now? Yeah. Oh, if you don't have the gym badge, you'll be forced to turn back. Thanks, Jasmine. Thanks. You're great. All right. Uh, Let's go to the center, the center so we can talk to people as you wish. You got it. I was supposed to have remembered to do that at the beginning of this episode, but I'm a big old dummy. <laughs> Sunny Shore is situated on a narrow spit of land bordered by the sea and mountains. To make up for the lack of space, the city built solar panels to use for power as well as for roads. It's a place where nature, Pokemon, and people are as one. Thanks. Wow, you're really cool! You have seven gym badges! That is kind of a lot, isn't it? <laughs> I, I always forget how many we have. <laughs> yeah, if we get this gym badge, it'll be our final. Oh. There's only eight, remember? There's always eight. No. Yeah, there's always eight. Shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I once dreamed of becoming a gym leader. Though that dream never came true, I got to live with Pokemon all this time. It's been a blessed life. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> Take it easy, dude. <laughs> I like this music. It's like very Mamma Mia. Uh, <laughs> Ugh, now I don't like it. Oh, well, it's, that's what you it sounds like. You had to do that. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, where are we going? Um, to the right. Up, back up to the upper level here? Oh, I guess so. Okay. Did we go here with these houses? I think we yeah, did. Yeah, I thought we did. We did. The delightful ribbons for Pokemon thing. Ugh. Okay. And this was where the gym is. Right? Yeah, Flint's there telling us about cool things that he wants us to do. And if we go this way, this is where we came from. Did we talk to this dude? What's this? Pokemon Rock, Sunny Shores Heritage Site. Okay, let's go there. That giant rock. Isn't it really a Pokemon? Well, we what? can't, like, go there. This rock in front of us. It's this big a thing. a Pokemon that just stays in one place? It, I, I, again, I don't know. <laughs> it's just called Pokemon Rock. But Let's oh. go in this house. I okay. thought that was the Heritage Center. No. Anyway, we found a Thunderstone, but we oh. don't need it. But I don't know what that is, but it's cool. A Thunderstone evolves certain Electric-type Pokemon. But the only Electric-type we have is Luxray, and it's already its third stage, so. That glaringly bright and cool thing you have. It's undoubtedly a Poketch. They're awesome, Yeah. I got okayed by the Poketch company to develop original Poketch apps. Hey, you're a trainer, right? Could you do me a favor? You've got Pokemon with different natures, right? May I see them? I guess. Okay. Yup, your Blissey has a serious nature, all right. Thanks. I'll give you this calendar app for your Poketch. We obtained the Poketch app calendar. We installed the, installed the app on the Poketch. The calendar app is a monthly calendar with date reminders. Okay, what so if we that for? if we switch Blissey, does he give us something different for having a different nature? Lonely, timid, bold, brave, and naive. They all have different natures. Huh. All right. Whoops. Uh, so let's switch with Krikatoon, I guess, and see what happens. Okay. Yup, your Metacham, okay, has a naive nature, all right. Thanks, I'll give you this Dot Artist app for your Poketch. Dot Artist. Girl installed the app in the Poketch. The Dot Artist app gives players free reign to their creativity. Oh, like it lets you like actually like draw on your thing, I think. Oh. What am I in the mood to see now? I'd like to see a Pokemon with a quirky nature. We, we don't, don't have, have that. that. We do have a lot of Pokemon in the box, so we could look if you really wanted to. I mean, it's just going to be things on the right hand side here. Correct. That we could possibly do. It, it, it doesn't seem like any of that is, is worth anything. Yeah. Is it just that we haven't come across the thing that is? I I I could not tell. I actually don't know. It's not even that I'm being like purposefully obtrusive. I'm not really sure. By the way, here's that Pokemon Rock thing that we were talking about. I see. 
It kind of does look like a Pokemon. Right? Uh, left or back down? Mm, down. To the right or to the left? I can't remember where we went and where we didn't go, so I don't know. Okay. Maybe stop asking me. This is stop. the lighthouse. The beacon that, shine, that lights Sinnoh. The gym leader uses too much electricity. He needs to think about the city's power needs, too. Wow. Okay, well, let's That's go to the... That's solar powers, dude. Hey, solar look. Panels. We're in the lighthouse. Huh. It's a fancy lighthouse. It's got an elevator. Right? Up. Oh. There's people in here. Who do you want to talk to? Blonde, backwards hat, or sailor? Sailor first. He's closest. The Vista Lighthouse represents safety and protection to us sailors. I love how far away you can see with the binoculars. I'm going to go that... F uh, sorry. I'm going to go that far away with my Pokemon one day. And finally... So, you're the latest challenger up against the Sunny Shore Gym. All right. I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. I'm all done with renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have battles that can thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sinnoh, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. Okay, not scared. <laughs> All right, well, now we got to stand here Can and wait for the elevator. Walk away. That's it. Oh, ah, oh, damn. Okay, I thought it was going to be in the elevator, and it was going to be like the most awkward, awkward. elevator ride. Yeah. yeah. After like, somebody threatens you and then yeah. they just stand there silently next to you on the elevator <laughs> ride. All right, so do you want to uh, just go face the gym now? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Question is, if it's the electric type gym, that's Flint. Yo, hiya. He's finally come back. He seemed to be feeling upbeat too. I have a hunch that he recognized your toughness right away. And that's I, not how toughness works, but okay. I bet he's getting excited over the thought of battling you remember what you have to do hotshot give him a battle that's so hot it'll reignite his passion for battling all right hotshot i'll be waiting at the pokemon league bye flint see you soon i hope You're ronald mcdonald looking motherfucker uh let's <laughs> rude <laughs> he does look like ronald mcdonald though so yeah sunny short city pokemon gym leader vulcaner the shining shocking star so if we're facing off against this uh this team. Let's Whoa, talk to him first. This place is. It looks like Final Fantasy up in here. <laughs> hey there, how's it going, champ? To be, let me check out your trainer case. Let's see how many badges you have. One, two, three. Whoa! Wow! You've already got seven. That means if you beat this gym leader, you're on your way to the Pokemon League next. Thanks. That also means this is the last time I get to give you advice. This is it, kiddo. Listen carefully. One last time. The gym leader Pull here... my finger. <laughs> <laughs> the gym leader here is a master of electric type Pokemon. That's all I have to say. The rest is up to you. That's definitely advice. So there you go. Enjoy it. You're that welcome. That wasn't shit we already fucking knew or anything. So, Thanks. So, if we are facing an electric type gym... Well, so, ground is super effective against electric. Correct. But our only... Ground type move is dig on Empoleon. Correct. And isn't ele isn't electric super effective against a water type? Correct. So what types are is Empoleon? Water, water and, and steel. Correct. I kind of forgot that. Do we have anything on how electric does against steel? It, no. Okay. It, it it may be neutral, but it may not be. Okay. Okay. So, yes, you are correct. Everything that you have said is correct. Okay, well, he wants us to use fire because he uses fire, I guess, but... Who? Flint? Flint. Oh, he just said give him a battle so hot. That's just... It's his personality because he does. He has fire type Pokemon, right, but he's just going to say saying. fiery, but... Um, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Sorry. Um... Yeah, so, I mean, the only thing we really can't use... Um, is like Luxray and that's kind of it. So <laughs> why not Luxray? Because it's there's a minus sign there for electric type attacks. Sure, it 
he has more than electric type attacks. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know what dark is. It could be neutral. It could not be. Sure, but we have dark and normal. But at least then you know because Luxray is an electric type that their electric attacks won't be very effective against Luxray. That's true. So it's at least a way like, and you have the dread plate on, which means your crunch is more powered, and your strength is strong because your attack is one thirty two nice. on Luxray. Okay. So it. it I'm just saying you don't have to use Luxray as like the only Pokemon, but be aware that using Luxray is still a, a viable a strategy. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you can use whoever, whomever you would like, I believe. You know, now, electric opinion. type attacks typically are um, physical or special. Let's take a look. Thunder Fang is physical. Spark is also physical. Okay. So they're typically physical then. I would, I well, hold on. One more to check. Thunder is special. Hmm. It depends. So I think because Spark is like, they, does it give it like an actual verbal description or a word-based description on what Spark does? Yes. The user throws an electrically charged tackle at the foe. So because it's with your body behind it as Spark, that's why it's physical. Thunder Fang, it's kind of obvious, they're biting. Okay. But Thunder Shock, Thunder Bolt, because those are like, they stay back and shoot it at you from afar, that's okay. more considered special than physical. Gotcha. Thunder as well, obviously, pulling it down from the from the clouds. So, sorry. Mm -hmm. So here's your, here's your team. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. Can we just look at what attacks everybody has at this Absolutely. point? Because I haven't memorized that. I, I wanted to have you write it all down, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I never actually asked you to do that. So. so you've got Blizzard, Fire Blast, Thunder, and Rock Climb on Blissey. Okay. X, Scissor, and Bug Buzz, Cut, and Rock Smash on Cricketune. Surf, Aerial Ace, Metal Claw, and Dig on Empoleon. Flash Cannon, Shadow Claw, Dragon Claw, and Roar of Time on Dialga. Thunder Fang, Spark, Strength, and Crunch on Luxray. And Drain Punch, Rock Smash, Confusion, and Rock Slide on Medicham. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'll go back to your full list in case you want to just look at everybody. Okay, so attacks that aren't going to do a lot against these Pokemon would be fire, water, ice, and steel. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong... I was yeah, looking at not... water. It was oh. next to it. Yeah, you're like here. <laughs> I was like, why are there all these things? I could have sworn I said it wasn't. <laughs> okay, so just electric and flying. Okay. So the only electric type, type attacks you have are the two on Luxray and the one on Blissey. Right. And the only flying is the one on Empoleon. Now, they're going to be, their electric attacks are going to be super effective against Empoleon. And that's it. Correct. Okay, that makes things interesting. <laughs> How so? Again, our only ground type attack is on Empoleon, <laughs> and Empoleon is a water-type Pokemon with a flying-type move. Correct. So... And a steel and a ground. Right. And steel is stab as well. Don't forget, the Metal Claw would be a stab move. Okay. <clears throat> Technically. Again, I'm not necessarily advocating one way or another, but just reminding you of the positives as opposed to just the negatives. Right. Uh, 
Don't forget, we likely have some gym trainers to kind of get us in the groove of things. If you want to like try somebody out at the top first versus uh, others. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Yeah, because I kind of wanted to use Empoleon because it's got the dig. Okay. And it's only level 41 and I wanted to level it up. Okay. Um. But I guess we'll see how long it survives if we're, <laughs> if we're using it against sure. trainers. Sure. Okay. We'll give it a try? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, welcome to this gym. It is a little tough, but not the worst. Uh, so, we're kind of stuck, right? It You go on this path here, and then this way, but... If you step on that button, it lets you go like this. And so, now you're here, and so you go... Like that, and then you're here. Cool. Can you make it to the gym leader? You sure now? <laughs> it's School Kid Tierra with one Pokemon, Pachirisu. Ugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have Empoleon. So Pachirisu, level 44. Surf Aerial Ace Metal Claw Dig. Alright, let's uh Hmm. Hmm. I wanted to start with Empoleon and mm -hmm. use Dig, but mm -hmm. well, and it's level 44, so I probably should. Okay. Dig? Yeah. Pachirisu used Sweet Kiss. Gross. Which confused us. Which means we're confused and we hurt ourselves. Okay, now what? Dig again. Okay, Pachirisu used Super Fang. Oh, Jesus. We're confused and we dig underground. Empoleon burrowed its way under the ground. Pachirisu used Super Fang and it missed. Thank God. We're confused and we hurt ourselves underground, <laughs> which means we're not using Dig anymore. Cool. All right, uh, let's use Surf. Pachirisu used Discharge. Oh, you better get it looked at then. Ew. It's super effective. Empoleon snapped out of confusion and used Surf. Oh, wow. Ha, ha. Holy crap. Heal, switch, or uh, try to get an attack off? Switch. Two? <laughs> um, well, uh... Blissey will use rock climb. <laughs> you got it. Uh, Empoleon comes out. Blissey comes in. Last resort. Did 81 points of damage. Jesus. Pachirisu used discharge. Yeah, it did. Oh, but it paralyzed us? Fine. Anyway, it did like 15 damage. Rock Climb does it. Nice. Pachirisu fainted. Empoleon gained 565. Blissey gained 565. Nice. And you beat School Kid Tierra. The gears spin round and round. I spin down and out. We got $880 Psst. for winning. <laughs> Our gym's trick walkways are sure to make your head spin. All right, you want to go to the center now that Empoleon's almost dead and Blissey's paralyzed? <laughs> fine. I wasn't gonna, but fine. You should. <laughs> By the way, folks, uh, two things. One, if you're new here, uh, I do the puzzles around here. Uh, and it's not because I have an ego. It's because uh, I like helping out Amy, and Amy does not like puzzles as much. So when I'm going through the gym, I will show Amy how the puzzles are done instead of asking her to do them or try to figure them out. Because trust me, they're super goddamn annoying. Um, but also, also, while you're here, 
Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. It is super helpful to us, but it's actually super helpful to you as well, because you will get notifications whenever any of our videos come out, including as this series continues into the coming weeks, because as you can see, we are working our way to the Pokemon League soon. Yeah. As long as we can get past this gym, I wouldn't want to, you know, insult Volkner and just be like, well, obviously when we kick his ass, we're going to get to talk. <laughs> it's going to happen, though. <laughs> So, um, so yes, definitely, please feel free to do that. Uh, we really do appreciate it. Okay, well, we're out of this room. Do you like this puzzle? Do you think it's interesting, or you still think it's like... Eh, it's whatever. Okay. So we go through here. We're in another room. Uh, so we can go up these stairs, which leads to nothing yet. Okay. Uh, or we can go here and go sideways and go talk to this guy. Okay. I want to win. A channel that desire through my guitar. Oh. Oh, I want to win. That desire makes me a Pokemon star. He was singing a song. I just... That Brian Adams song. Guitarist Jerry. I want to win. <laughs> Don't want to be a loser. Got to win. <laughs> it's Luxio. Yeah. We send out Empoleon. What do you want to do? Um... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pick something. It's level 44. So. Um, well, first we'll dig, I suppose. We are going to be faster because, as you remember, Luxio, Luxray, etc., ain't known for being fast. Yeah. We burrowed our way under the ground. Luxio used Thunderfang. Oh, jeez. It missed. We used Dig. It hits. Thank God we used Dig. And does almost enough. It is super effective. Luxio used Leer. Oh, thank God it's using Leer. <laughs> <laughs> and lowered our defense. Now what? Uh, now we Metal Claw. Great choice. Metal Claw hits and finishes off the Luxio. Okay. It's not very effective. Oh. Okay. So would I put a minus in this box? Correct. Correct? Okay. We couldn't win. No on course for us. We got $1,056 for winning. The trainer's desire to win. If you don't lose that, there's no limit on what you can become. Okay, and then we can go up these stairs to, again, nothing. So now it's time to go push this button because... Okay. See the gear on the side as well? Yeah. Now we go like that. Then like that. Now we can go back down here and up this way. Very nice. And there's this guy. This is the toughest gym in Sinnoh. That's why I'm here, to learn the best battle techniques around. Okay. Hopefully you do. <laughs> it's School Kid Forest with one Pokemon, Mr. Mime. Oh, I get it. He's a school kid. <laughs> yes, so he's learning. But also, Mr. Mime. Yeah. Because you want to know why? Remember why? Red? In Pokemon Red, what did our what did Marcel have when we faced the Elite Four? Thunder. Our Marcel used Thunder for us. It was our oh, electric attack yeah. user. So I find that interesting. But anyway, <laughs> Surf, Aerial Ace, Metal Claw, Dig, Switch. Hmm. So there you go, folks. Amy, having never played any of these games before, in Pokemon Red, predicted one of the gym trainers in uh, here in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> why don't we? Um, hmm, why don't we use um, Cricketune? You got it. And then you want to use X Scissor Bug Buzz. Um, what level is Cricketune now? Forty-three. And yeah, we can probably use Bug Buzz. Flash. He lowered our accuracy. Oh. So Bug Buzz, you said? Yeah. Mr. Mime used Energy Ball. That came right out of his crotch. <laughs> it dealt, yeah, I was going to say, like 25, 26 damage. Bug Buzz, Mr. Mime's Soundproof blocks Bug Buzz. What? Soundproof is its ability. 
Oh, I guess because it's a buzz that is sound. Correct. Let's X scissor him then. Makes sense to me. Mr. Mime used energy ball again. Did that much. It's still not very effective, Mr. Mime, but it did lower our special defense. We use X scissor. And finish it off. Bye. <laughs> Super effective. Mr. Mime faints. Empoleon gains 640. Cricketune gains 640. And nice. you beat School Kid Forest. You're tough. We got $880 for winning. Okay. <clears throat> you just showed me that there's still lots I need to learn. The world of Pokemon is deep. There you go, Amy. The world of Pokemon so is deep. deep, didn't you know? All right. Uh, there's a Pikachu. There is a Pikachu up there, yes. I see it. You see it? All right, well, let's go check it out. All right, so... It's not going to fight us, though. It's just going to say, Pika, Pika! Oh, okay, good. I was worried. <laughs> Look at the way I'm dressed! Can't you see that I'm hardcore? Uh, what? <laughs> it's a person in there. Sure is. In fact, Poke it's... Poke fan or whatever. Poke kid. Poke kid Megan. And she She's sent so out... Cute. Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> We have Empoleon. What will we do? Uh, good question. Thank you. I thought so. Surf, Aerial Ace, Metal Claw, or Dig? The Dig. Makes sense. Uh, we Dig. How are we faster than Pikachu? What? Since when? Okay. Anyway, we burrow into the ground. Pikachu used Discharge, and we avoided it. Then Pikachu used Faint, and it missed. And then we use dig, and it hits. So it gets two attacks. No, I. So I think discharge may be. Well, we killed it. Uh, discharge wow. may be uh, that it forces it to go last. Ah, uh, uh, Pikachu's static paralyzed us. Okay, well it's dead, so. It is, but she has a Pokemon. <laughs> oh. Pikachu faints. Empoleon gained seven twenty. Nice. nice. And then Poke Kid Megan's about to send in Pikachu. Will we change Pokemon? Nah. We'll just use Dig again. Yeah, she has four Pokemon total, so oh, three Jesus. more. Okay. So here's she Pikachu number two. Reason. No. All well, because all the other ones had one. Oh, we want to okay. dig this one as well. Yeah. I can dig it. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Pikachu used Discharge. All right. It's interesting. Anyway. Okay. It did like forty-eight. It's super effective. Yeah. We dig a hole. Burn our way under the ground. Pikachu used faint, and it missed. We used dig, and it hits. Unless there's something drastically different with this Pikachu than the other one. Okay, this one also faints. Super effective. Pikachu faints. Empoleon gained another 720. One more of those. Another Pikachu. Will we change? Mm -mm. Didn't think so. In comes Pikachu. Down we dig, I assume. Yep. Makes sense to me. We will dig. These are all female Pikachus. Correct. I think she's sexist. Well, <laughs> it's that you can tell by the little cleft in their tail, remember? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. That's how I knew. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you were looking at the symbol or not. Yeah. We were fully paralyzed, so we did not dig. We'll try again. Pikachu used, had used agility. Now it uses Thunderbolt. Oops. But yes, I'm glad that you remembered that, because I always think that's kind of cool, as if it's like vis visible like that, and we can see it. So good. Good on you for uh, remembering. Huh. We're fully paralyzed again. We did not dig. Well, let's switch out. To? Anybody but this. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Cricketune's at 82 out of 131, but otherwise everybody else is at full health. Okay. Well, let's put Cricketune in, because fuck all. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Uh, X Scissor, Bug Buzz, Rock Smash, or uh, Cut? Uh, faint Mist, by the way. I don't know what Faint does. Neither do I, because it hasn't hit us <laughs> it once. It hasn't actually no. ever hit us. Not, not a once. Um, I will use X Scissor. Makes sense. Pikachu used Agility, so its speed went up by another plus two. The fastest Pikachu alive. Um... <laughs> It's at plus four speed right now. We X-scissor it. It's like it's sprinting all around and we just 
slash the shit out of it and <laughs> dies right there. <laughs> It's okay. like trying to scare us. Look how fast I can go. You can't even see me. <laughs> yeah, I just saw you. Now you're dead. <laughs> Empoleon grew to level 42, by the way, from that nice. experience. Plus three, plus three, and then all plus twos otherwise. Very so nice. 138 HP, 75 attack, 91 defense, 104 special attack, 98 special defense, and 84 speed. Very good. Cricketune also gained 360. And Pokekid Megan's about to send in another Pikachu. Will we change okay. Pokemon? No, that's fine. Okay. Another X Scissor? Uh, well, if it's a 41, we'll probably, probably try Bug Buzz. Uh, okay. Pikachu used Discharge. Bitch! <laughs> it is all female Pikachus, by the way. You were right. Bug Buzz. She's sexist. <laughs> Almost. Ah. Not quite. Uh, let's use cut. I figured. Pikachu used faint, and it failed. Damn <laughs> it. <laughs> I was willing to sacrifice my Cricketune just to find out what that fucking move did. <laughs> Pikachu's static paralyzed Cricketune. It may be unable to move, but it's irrelevant because now it is her final Pokemon. Pikachu faints. Cricketune gains 720. And you defeated Poke Kid Megan. I was being serious. Don't laugh at me. I mean it. Oh, she's so cute. Yes, she is. I know you're being serious. I didn't laugh. I wouldn't. I would never. I dress this way so I can learn to think like an electric Pokemon. Why don't you give it a try? You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go to the center, by the way? I, I, figured, yeah. I, I figured that's what you wanted to do, but I didn't technically ask, so. All right. <clears throat> And out we go. Okay. In we go to the center. Heal up. Hey, also everybody, now that we're here again, thanks for get to, I get to use this time to like insert ads without actually inserting ads uh, we also have other channels as well linked down in the description box below if you are unfamiliar you should definitely check them out we uh we do a lot of things that we are very passionate about and we hope that you also enjoy all the great stuff we have going on here at geek for all yes please and thank you all so much for joining us we we really appreciate it as i bonk into a million walls uh <laughs> God damn it, man. Whatever. Yeah. I'm not judging you. No, I'm judging me. <laughs> well, that's sad, I guess. I'm sorry. Thanks. <laughs> all right, so we go through here. We have to do all these puzzles again, by the way. <laughs> yeah, maybe we don't leave again. I mean, we should if we have to. Like, Okay. Puzzles are annoying. Not as annoying as Lieutenant Surge's gym. So electric type gyms have a, a history in these games for being somewhat difficult. So, all right, uh, let's do this, dude. Whether you're a trainer or a guitarist, it takes dedication to improve your mad skills. Of course. And so, it's guitarist Lonnie with one Pokemon... Raichu. That hair, though. <laughs> level 44. We have Empoleon, level 42. Do you think if we beat him, he'll still uh, tell me what conditioner he uses? Uh, I'm certain he would, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Empoleon burrowed its way under the ground. Raichu used Thunder Wave, which missed. Thank God. Trying to paralyze us. Raichu used Quick Attack, which missed. Thanks, Raichu. We used Dig, which hits. Right in the crotch. Yeah. A uh, lot of things are right in the crotch in this game, apparently. Right? Did not finish it off. It is super effective, though. Now what? Uh, well. Mm, I think we just dig again, because I don't think it. a metal claw will do that. Right, you used quick attack. Maybe it would have. And dealt six damage. It's not very effective. Do you have that on there? You almost certainly do, right? I keep forgetting that metal claws stab now. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Okay. The the normal attack, not very effective against the steel. Yeah. 
Okay, and you finished it off with Dig. I kind of figured you would have had that, but I needed to check anyway. And then Raichu Static Paralyzes Empoleon anyway. It may be unable to move. There's uh, an option that we have here. Hold on, let's let's talk after we finish this fight. 1,149 experience, Ooh, by the way. baby. And then you beat Guitarist Lonnie. My skills seem to have let me down. I must have been out of tune. You got $1,056 for winning. Okay. Uh, let's hear what he has to say. The way you battle, I can feel the very heart of rock and roll. Tell me, are you maybe a fan of rocking out? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. So one thing that we can do, uh, obviously we can heal off this, um, this paralysis if we want. In fact, we're in the wrong pocket for it. Um, but we should have paralyzed heals. We have three. So you want to use one? Uh, yeah. Now. The other thing that we can do, what is it? What item does Empoleon have on right now? That's the... Nope, nope, not in the bag. Sorry. <sighs> okay. Let's check I what... I think it's the metronome. I think so, dumb. too. Yeah. So, if you agree that it's something dumb, then here's what we can do. God bless you. Oh, my goodness. God oh, bless God. you. Wow. God bless you again. Uh, okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Oh, now, we have... so painful. I'm sorry to hear oh. that. We have two cherry berries. Okay. which can be used or held by a Pokemon to recover from paralysis. Yeah, that's great. Let's use those. Okay, so we will give... It's only one. It's not like you can give both. You basically right. give one at a time. Yeah. So we will switch. The metronome was taken and replaced with its cherry berry. Very good. Now we go here. Yeah, because technically the metronome helps, like, because we're using dig twice in a row, right. maybe... But it's really only, like, twice in a row. Yeah. So it doesn't help massively. Right. I'm not just looking for tough trainers to battle. I've been battling here because I want to feel the rush. Okay. <laughs> it's Ace Trainer Destiny with two Pokemon. Kadabra is Ooh, first. Ooh, okay. We'll send Krikatoon back out. Got a lot of psychic types here. Yeah, we'll send Krikatoon back sure, out. Sure, that makes sense. Okay. Kadabra is also a an electric type? No, but Mr. Oh. Mime isn't either. Right. It just can use an electric type attack, and okay. so sometimes they put them in here to be like, isn't that fun and cool and funny? Aha, trick. <laughs> Tricked ya. X Scissor, Bug Buzz, Cut, Rock Smash. Uh, uh, it's 44 X Scissor. Yeah. Because it's Kadabra. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to get fucking... Speaking of which, yes. use Psychic. No, you bastard. Wow. It did like 90 damage to us. But we did all the damage to it. But it got what it deserved. <clears throat> yeah. After that. Super effective. Kadabra faints. Empoleon gained 682. Krikatoon gained 682. And then Ace Trainer Destiny is about to send in Raichu. Will we switch? Yeah, I think we should. Go back to Empoleon? Yeah. You got it. Krikatoon comes out. Empoleon comes in. Raichu. Hi, Raichu. You're <laughs> cute. Uh, and Dig? Yes, please. You got it. Raichu used Thunderbolt. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, live, 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 live. It did 102 damage. It's super effective. Oh, Jesus <laughs> oh, oh, my God. All right. Empoleon burrowed its way into the ground. Oh, fuck. Oh. Ah. Fuck you, Raichu. Ah. Fuck you. All right. Our dig missed. Now what? Switch. Two? I mean... Fuck, man. <laughs> Not Luxray, because he's Correct. got Dig. Correct. She's got Dig. Correct. Uh, fuck, man. Uh, and Dig is a physical attack. I'm almost certain of that, yes. So not Blissey. Actually, we could double check, but yeah, I'm relatively certain. It is physical, yeah. But you're correct. Also not Blissey then. Okay. <laughs> so, Medicham. Right? Does I, that make sense? I guess. Our physical defenses are second highest stat after speed. 
Not Good. counting HP, of course. Good. Okay. Okay, Empoleon comes out. Metacham comes in. Raichu used Dig. Okay. Okay. And did 26 damage. Very nice. Okay, so what are we doing? Drain Punch, Rock Smash, Rock Slider, Confusion. Drain Punch. <laughs> okay. Metacham used Drain Punch. And... Oh. Does well over half. Nice. And you're back to full health. Raichu uses Dig. Okay, what do you want to use as a move to throw away? Uh, rock slide, I guess. It misses. And then Raichu uses Dig again. <clears throat> Puts us back to 92. Now what? Uh, I guess we just use Drain Punch again. <laughs> you got it. I don't think it'll bring us back to full this time, but should still... I mean, it'll obviously heal us a bit, which is nice. But yes, you finish off the Raichu easily, and you go to 113. I was actually... Perfect. It was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Raichu faints. Empoleon gained 574. Metacham gained 574. And you defeated Ace Trainer Destiny. Your power is thrilling. I'm thrilled down to my toes. You got $2,640 for winning. This girl is like weirdly erotic. <laughs> right? So, like... Yeah. I'm so glad that there are Pokemon. There isn't much else that gives me the thrill that Pokemon do. Okay. Well, I'm thoroughly <laughs> freaked out. So goodbye. Uh, uh, there's another dude. Spark. This is what our gym leader did to the gym out of boredom. <laughs> The, all the puzzles yeah, and everything. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. It's guitarist Preston with two Pokemon. Luxio is first. Empoleon we have for our side. Oh, right. Empoleon's still at 30. You want to dig? Uh, no. Okay. What do you want to do? I want to take Empoleon out. Four? Or somebody who's not at 30. Uh, Krikatoon's at 41. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, no. Uh, anybody. Um, let's try Blissey. Okay. Because we said the attacks are going to be probably half and half of special and or... Normal. Depending Normal. on what the Physical. opposing Pokemon are using, but you know for a fact that the electric type attacks that Luxio learns are all physical. And he has a very high physical stat because our Luxray does. Okay. So let's put in. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Medicham again? Okay. Does Metacham have a good defense? Yes, we were just saying it's its defense is its second highest stat. Oh, Thunderfang. Its defense? I thought you said it was something else. No, because we put it in against Dig, remember? Right, okay. Uh, drain Punch, Rock Smash, Rock Slide, Confusion. Let's use Confusion. You got it. Stab, item boosted. Not not even half. He used Leer and lowered our defense. Okay. Now what? Let's use Drain Punch. What an idea. Drain Punch. Does. All the rest. Nice. Which means we are at 104. That's it? Luxio had its energy drained. Yeah, it's only half of what we take. Yeah, I know, <clears> but... Empoleon and Metacham gain 526, and Bib Barrel is next. Ew. Will we change Pokemon? What types are Bib Barrel? Uh, normal and water, I thought. Yep. 
You're so correct. why is it an electric type gym? Maybe it can learn an electric type attack, just like the second uh, gym. What a fucking a hole Bibarel is. <laughs> so who do you want to put in? Stay in. Okay. We will use a fighting type move against it. Okay. Drain punch or rock smash. Rock smash, please. Metacham use rock smash. Wow. Jesus, super effective. And you lowered its defense just as like the sick rubbing. Ah, Thunder Wave. So Metacham is now paralyzed. Okay. Now what? Uh, now we. Is Rock Slide not good, or... Rock Slide's great. Why wouldn't Rock Slide be great? I don't know. I thought it was great. But then I was like, it's our least powerful thing on Medicham. But I guess I mean, that's just because it's... all the rest of its moves are stab. Correct. Okay. But it's our only Rock-type attack on the team, so... Yeah. We'll use it, though. They barely used Water Pulse. Don't. I think what you mean to say when you say don't is, oh, thank God, don't confuse us, because that was an option there with Water Pulse, don't forget. Rock Slide hits and obviously finishes off the Bibarel. Bibarel fainted. Medicham gained 1044. Wow. And you defeated guitarist Preston. Spark! You got $1,008 for winning. We were lacking energy. Nah, we lacked more than that. We didn't want the win enough. Okay, uh, whoops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on, come on. Okay, this is what your team looks like. Let's go to center. Okay. Mm. It's fine, you're not the one who has to do these puzzles again. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to make it easier for you. It's fine, this is my life, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I signed up for this, okay? <laughs> Sad. <laughs> I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> I have no one to blame but myself. <laughs> okay. All good. At least you don't blame me. Yeah, your conscience is clear. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't really have too much more to talk about. Uh, we we filmed these uh, like well in advance. So, hey, uh, check out Geek for All. We probably stream over there. And you should come hang out on our streams. We would love to hear from each and every one of you. It, it would be great. Probably. Does that mean it's up for, like, debate? I mean, Does that mean I don't have to go if I don't want to? That's that's definitely what it means, <laughs> yes. This is where we have that discussion as a, as a channel. Obviously. Is here in our pre-recorded videos. <laughs> Not going to be on the streams anymore, guys. <laughs> going forward, just so you know. <laughs> from, from this episode on... For some random reason, even though as the at the time that we're filming this, we have genuinely no idea when <laughs> when this video is going to be going up. <laughs> but we'll definitely, but we'll definitely make that kind of a commitment right here. <laughs> so you heard it here first, folks. Amy's the worst. <laughs> That's what we've determined. <laughs> we all already knew that. Yeah. Well. But nobody says it out loud, you know. <laughs> I don't. I could have sworn. <laughs> uh, okay. We do it. We did it. Good. Okay. So now we're back up here. Where we go like this. And then like this. Oh. Does this hurt us? Can we even do this? It does not hurt us at all. We go under it because we're a kid. I guess. Adults can't go. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> wow, I'm surprised you've come this far, but you'll have to turn back. There isn't any chance that you could ever beat me. There you go, Amy. Bold claim from the... That's a lot of bullshit. From the gym trainer. Just, Ace trainer... Just like my bullshit about not being on streams. <laughs> Ace trainer Zachary sent out Steelix. Oh. 
level 44, and we have Empoleon level 42. Fight steel with steel! That's a terrible idea. Fine. But you do have a move that would work very well. So do you want to use Surf, Aerial Ace, Melclaw, or Dig? I do? Yeah. If you um, don't recall how you beat Steelix, yeah. In the past. I don't. Do you want a hint? Yeah. It's going to be super effective and it's Stab for you. Surf? That doesn't have that. We hit first. It's because Steelix isn't just a steel type, is it? <gasps> no. Whoa. Super effective. He's so cool looking. Yeah, I know. Steelix faints. Empoleon gained 1,848. Woot woot. And Zachary is about to send in Metacham. Will we change Pokemon? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I'm uh Metacham comes in level I'm SpongeBob laughing. Yes. Da <laughs> level 44. Surf Aerial Ace Metal Claw or Dig. Uh Surf. Okay. I mean something that you, you were excited you about. Can, you can use Surf if you want. It's actually will probably do very well for you <laughs> if you want to do that. <laughs> yes. Okay, no problem. Metacham used Detect, which is basically Protect, and so it protected itself. We try to use Surf, but it's protecting itself. Do it again. Is it Aerial Ace? We could do Aerial Ace. Do you want to try Aerial Ace? Maybe. Or do you want to try Surf? Your choice. I'm looking at my chart. Uh-huh. And I want to do Aerial Ace. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Metacham used <laughs> Meditate, which increased its attack, and we use Aerial Ace. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It did not even do half. It is super effective, though. Lying piece of crap. It's... <laughs> the worst. Uh... Fine, we'll do your precious surf. God. Meditate again, raised its attack again. What a what a great use of your turn, Metacham. <laughs> Nicely done. We use surf. And <clears throat> Metacham faints. A critical hit. Well, now we have no way of knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Empoleon gained 1,441 and grew to level 43. Yay! Wow, look at those pluses. Yeah. 141 HP, 77 attack, 94 defense, 107 special attack. You've broken triple digits for 100 special defense and 86 speed. Yeah, I am my health. Oh my god. Okay, you defeated Ace Trainer Zachary. What makes your Pokemon so special? And they're just cool. They're cooler than you. We got $2,640 for winning. You think you're cooler than me. <laughs> As a, nice one. <laughs> As a challenger, you're one tough trainer. That's correct. We sure are. Did we... We already faced you. Oh, coming back here. How do we get to the other trainer? I have to go to the middle again. Through here? Is it? Ye... No? No. Nope. I don't know what to do. I don't remember. I think, you know what? I think it lets us go back for a reason, right? So let's just do that. There. Nope. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Like I said, it lets us go back for a reason. So let's give it a try. <clears throat> Really? Fine. Nope, that didn't do shit for us. Uh, am I this bad at this? Why? Ugh, God damn it. I'm so angry. <laughs> okay. Uh. Sorry. 
wait. It did it. Oh, nice. All right, so uh, everybody's still at full health. Oh, great. Because Empoleon didn't take any damage from that last fight. So Yeah. You ready to do this? Because it's cool. Because it's cool. So you ready? Yeah. All right, well then let's do it. All right, challenger. It's not often, but some trainers manage to come and challenge me. But they've all been boring battles. I didn't break a sweat beating them. <sighs> I'm Vulcaner, the gym leader. They say I'm the top gym leader in Sinnoh, but... Anyway, I guess we better get this I'm done. I'm not, because I suck. I hope you're the trainer who, who will help me remember how fun it is to battle. Probably not. He's just a sad sack of a dude. Look at him. Yeah. You're challenged by Leader Vulcaner with four Pokemon. Raichu is first. Okay. Level 46. Oh, God. Dig? I guess. Raichu used Brick Break. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's super effective. Can we dig a hole? We burrowed its, our way underground. Raichu used Light Screen. And it raised its team's special defense. Thankfully, we're hitting with a physical attack in Dig, which does... Over half. Super effective. So we'll dig again. Raichu used Thunder Wave and paralyzed us. Damn it. We are now paralyzed. But, but we have berry. a berry for that. Yeah, we do. We are cured of paralysis. <laughs> we yeah. dig a hole because it doesn't even take a turn. It just happens. We burrow our way underground. Raichu used Thunder Wave again and it missed. And we use Dig and finish it off. Yeah, we do. Nicely done, Amy. Let's can we put another berry on it like right now? No, not not during the the fight now. Right, you faints. Empoleon gained 1201. Leader Volkner is about to send in Luxray. Will we change Pokémon? Don't look at me like that. Like, I remember what's good. <laughs> what the hell? You have a Luxray. I know. <laughs> and I know we just did it, but that doesn't mean I remember it. What do you want to do? Uh, nah. <laughs> I guess we can dig. Okay. So we stay in. Luxray comes out. It's so cool. It's so elegant. It does not have Intimidate like our Luxray does. Ooh. We are faster than it, so we dig in underground first, or burrow our way underground first. Luxray used Thunderfang, and it missed. Nice. We use Dig, and it hits. It's level 49, by the way. Jesus. And it only Ugh. did about a quarter. It's super effective. Yeah, Luxray like used third. Crunch. Damn it. We are so dead. Oh. We're it's not. It's not very <laughs> effective. I guess not. And light screen wore off. Does that mean that I need to you, put a... You have it already. I do? Dark to steel is not very effective. You have it already. Oh. So, Surf, Aerial Ace, Metal Claw, or Dig again? Dig again. We learned we're faster, so we dig our way underground. Whatever this attack is, uh, which is a charge beam, misses. Good. We use dig, and it hits, taking it to probably about half or a little less. Yeah, it's super effective, as we know. And then Luxray 2 has a berry. It restored its health using its citrus berry. It's back in the green. It used Thunderfang. God damn it. And Empoleon faints. Okay. It's super effective, as we know. Okay. Who is next? This Empoleon has a dark type attack and electric type attacks that we've seen so far.
What are you thinking? Hmm. People can't see the faces you're making. What? Okay. Our Lux Ray, what's the weird attack strength? Yeah. That's not going to do a lot. Correct. I mean, it's not going to not do a lot, but we're level 45 on our Luxray. They're level 49. But if we look at Luxray's defense, for example, 89. So it's our third lowest or our third highest, depending on how you want to look at it. But our defense is higher than our special defense. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, if, if we put our Luxray in... Mm -hmm then any attacks that it uses on us are going to be not very effective. Dark is not not very effective against Luxray. It's not dark type, it's electric type. Oh. Damn it. I know. But, again... <laughs> I always forget that. I know, it's really stupid. It's very stupid. <clears throat> All right. Who got our ghost type attack? Dialga? Dialga. All right, let's send that in. Oh, yeah, it's not a dark type. Fuck, we just said that. <laughs> God damn it. I was, like, giving you the, the, the face. I was like, uh, what? <laughs> but, I mean, again, if you ask me to do it, I'll still put Dialga in. It's a level 47 <laughs> legendary. Like, Yeah, I mean, it's going to do well. That's not what I'm worried about here. I'd yeah. just rather give the experience to someone who's not Dialga. Of course. Um, hmm. What do we want to do here? Um, Metacham again? If you want to. I guess. Sure. We will send in Metacham. Uh, we've got Drain Punch, Rock Smash, Confusion, or Rock Slide. Uh, let's use Confusion. Again, Stab, boosted by the item and it's not a dark type it did very little oh <laughs> luxury used thunder wave that was pointless metacham is now paralyzed oh come on um so we know it's attacks now thunder fang thunder wave charge beam and crunch okay those are its four attacks hmm. we've got confusion rock slide rock smash drain punch or switch Rock slide. Luxray used charge beam and it missed. Wow. Interesting. Nice. We use rock slide and it hits. <laughs> that looks amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. And a critical hit means that Luxray is done. Good. And Medicham gains 2037 experience. Oh my. And almost levels. Later, Volkner is about to send in Ambipom. Will we change Pokemon? What? It's the thing with the blow-up glove tail hand things um, that you hate. <laughs> oh, God. What is that thing, anyway? You took a guess that it was normal type last time, but I don't know if or you like were confirmed. Fighting type or something? I don't know if you confirmed if you were correct or not. Ugh. I don't know. Whatever. Just leave Metacham in. You got it. We'll oh, two we'll, more Pokemon uh, left. Sorry, go ahead. We use Confusion on it. <laughs> okay. It's level 47. We will use Confusion. It used Nasty Plot. And raised its special attack plus two. Damn. We use Confusion. It does that much. Ooh. All right. Um, right. Let's use Rock Smash on it. Ambipom used Nasty Plot and raised its special attack plus two. It's a plus four special attack now. We are fully paralyzed. Shit, come on. Try again? Yep. It used Nasty Plot. It is now a plus six special attack. Jesus. We're fully paralyzed again, motherfuckers. Try again? I guess. What else do we do? Ambipom used Shockwave. Oh, I'm so scared. Just live. That's all you have to do. Just survive. Nope. <sighs> Metacham fainted. 
Okay. It's a plus six special attack. I think you know what you have to do. If its special attack is very high, what are you... Blissey? Yeah. It's finally heard more. It's your moment, Blissey. <laughs> All right, Blissey. We've trained for this. <laughs> Don't you disappoint me now. Like you have been doing this whole fucking game. <laughs> Blizzard, Fire Blast, Thunder, or Rock Climb? I love you, but please don't pick rock climb. <laughs> I'm not. I know you are. Uh, how about Blizzard? Amber Palm used Shockwave. Come on, Blissey. What are we trained for? Take it. Take it. Take it like the powerful woman you are. <laughs> Did 73, which is a lot, but not if you have 289 <laughs> HP. <laughs> Blizzard did that much. Okay. It did hit, but it did and it did that much. All right. That was less than half, so oh, we yeah. can't blizzard again. Let's fire blast it this time. Ambipom used baton pass. Oh fuck. Holy shit. To octillery? It's wow. An, it's an octopus. Yeah, but it's going to get hit with a fire blast. <laughs> yeah, of course it's not very effective. Oh, we burn it, though. Oh. Suck it, Octillery. It's hurt by the burn at the end of the turn. I meant didn't mean to rhyme there, but there we are. What do you want to do? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. As a reminder of what Baton Pass does. Yeah. You switch out your Pokemon, or it lets you switch out the Pokemon that just used Baton Pass right. to another Pokemon, and that other Pokemon keeps any stat increases that your first Pokemon had. So this is a plus six special attack Octillery that's now also burned thanks to fi <laughs> Fire Blast. <laughs> but Does that mean the burn's going to transfer too? No. Oh, I don't believe that, that would, would occur. That would but also, awesome. that would mean Octillery would have to have Baton Pass. Because it only works the one. It's not like when Ambipom comes back in, it will still have it's those one increases. Way. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but you saw the fire blast was not very effective. Octillery's an octopus, so. Right. What do you want to do to it? Uh, so that means it's probably a water type. Makes perfect sense. Um. So I guess we can thunder it. Makes sense to me, doesn't it? Use thunder. It missed. Damn it. Octillery used Bullet Seed. What? Why does it have seeds? It's Did an octopus. eight damage, oh, but it hits multiple shit. times. Stop it. Nine, uh, and nine damage. I don't like this octopus. It's ugly. Wow. I love octopi. It's hurt by the burn. You want to try thunder again? Yes. Okay. It's ugly and it's mean. It hits. And I don't like it. Well, uh, then you might be... Pretty happy to learn that it's dead. <laughs> Super effective. Good. Octillery faints. Blissey gained 1,651. Whoa. And Vulcaner's about to send back in Ambipom. Will we switch or stay in? Stay in. Okay. What attack do you want to use? Blizzard, Fire Blast, uh, or Thunder? Um. It's at less than half. Here it comes. Get ready for my trump card. Uh, Fire Blast. Ambipom used agility. <laughs> so it's got speed plus two now. It does not have special attack plus six anymore. Oh, good. We use fire blast. Because when any Pokemon switches out, it loses any stat increases. But if it baton passes, the next Pokemon keeps them. It almost died. Shocking. I didn't see this coming. Now we can probably rock climb it. Okay. Is that too scary? I would think that's a little bold of you, but if you want Maybe to. Maybe Blizzard then. Faulkner used a full restore. Oh, you motherfucker. You would have been real upset if you used that rock climb, though. <laughs> yeah. Blizzard hits. Come on, baby. Give me the status. Let's see it. Or the crit? Hell oh, yeah! Nice. And the status! Called for it. Ambipom is frozen solid. Hell yes. Okay, now what? I don't think I've ever seen an actual <laughs> status on this fucking move before. So no. thank you for asking for it. And you got the fire blast burn as well. Yeah. So this is a good fight for Blissey. 
she's stepping up. She knows you don't like her. So she's like, I'll prove it to you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> let's blizzard it. Amber Palm is frozen solid. Just stays there. Blizzard hits. I hope it finishes it from here. I think it should. It should. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, good. Amber Palm faints. Which means Blissey gains 1,872 <laughs> and is very deservedly level 45. Yes. <sighs> See? Now you're getting... Now you're alternating plus your attack zero and defense to pluses. defense again. I'm sorry. But you got plus four to special defense. I don't give a shit. 295 <laughs> HP. Ugh. 28 attack, 27 defense, 83 Bullshit. special attack, 139 special defense, and 70... I don't 70, even know why you read them off. I really don't. And 77 speed. Because I'm impressed with Blissey. Player defeated leader Vulcaner. You got me beat. Your desire and the noble way your Pokemon battled for you. I even felt thrilled during our match. That was a very good battle. You got $5,880 for winning. Wow. That's a lot of money. It sure is. <laughs> that was the most fun I've had in a battle since I don't know when. It's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. Does that mean you want to fight me again? This is your eighth gym badge. You've earned this. Gruul received the beacon badge from Vulcaner. Fight me again? No. That beacon badge lets you use the hidden move Waterfall, <gasps> even when you're not in a battle. Waterfall happens to be key if you're going to the Pokemon League. Also, because you've collected all eight badges, any Pokemon at any level will now obey you without fail. Cool. I want you to take this, too. Obtained TM57. We put it away in the TM and HM pocket. What's inside that TM57 is the move Charge Beam. It may raise special attack if it lands. It's pretty hot. Yeah, Amy, it's pretty hot. Oh, wait, I should probably say, he says like one more thing. I don't want to just leave the guy. Your next step is the Pokemon League Challenge. It's time for you to cross the sea and win your way through the gauntlet that is Victory Road. Demonstrate to the Pokemon League your mastery of your team. Okay. Against you, even the Elite Four will be pushed to fend off your challenge. You did it, Amy. Yeah. You've gotten all eight gym badges. Did it. Yeah, you did. Congratulations. Sick. How does it feel? Pretty good. Good. Congratulations. You deserve it. Don't forget, folks, always leave your congrats for Amy when she has had an accomplishment like this in the comments down below. What's your friend say? You ready? Last time. Oh, Gruul, did you beat the gym leader? Well, of course you did. But you know what? You haven't, you haven't made it in my mind yet. Do you know why? Because you and your Pokemon are capable of achieving so much more. But I am proud of you. Eight Sinnoh badges. Way to go, kiddo. Cool. You did it. Yeah, I'm happy we did it, and I'm really happy we did it with Blissey because I was not that pleased that we had to keep Blissey on our team. I was very mad about it. But She uh, turned out to be a boss. Right. She did good work this time around. <laughs> so You're still on probation, apparently, Blissey. Solidarity. <laughs> but hey, congratulations nonetheless. This is so cool. I'm so happy for you. So hey, everybody, that is going to be the end of this particular episode. We started fighting a gym we finished fighting a gym leave your thoughts down in the comments below if you haven't told us in past episodes already what do you think of blissey what do you think of of amy's points about blissey in in terms of the disparity in the um the stats. abilities the stats thank you i couldn't think of like a proper word for it everybody knew what i meant but yeah like with defense versus special defense versus hp like it's just gross i hate it <laughs> So yeah, any and all thoughts that you might have on that, I would we would love to hear and from you. This is really the first Pokemon that I've ever had that's even come close to that sort of thing. That's and arguably not true because you had Onyx. Like Onyx had such high defense. 
I don't think anything had, I, I don't think any of his other stats were so low though yeah. in comparison. So I guess that argument is fair. Plus the fact, I, I guess it's also that Blissey is a third stage Pokemon, whereas Onyx is a standalone Pokemon. So I think that is like, Something that, you know, they tried something in later generations where they said, you know what, let's try this. Let's try a Pokemon that is so very clearly one thing and one thing only. Mm -hmm. Blissey is a pile of hit points and special attacks are not going to hurt her a lot. But if you get hit with a physical attack, you're just going to go down no matter how many hit points you have. And, you know, maybe you'll live at like five, but then it doesn't really matter what you get hit with next. Right. So... Um, yeah, so like I said, I really am curious what other people think uh, as uh, from the standpoint of Amy as somebody coming in here and saying, I think this is really stupid. Whereas I feel like I understand it a bit more. It doesn't mean I think you're wrong. It just I feel like I get where the game or the developers were coming from and making those decisions. But I know for you, you it's didn't appreciate annoying it. It's annoying sure. because all my other Pokemon aren't like that. And I like to try and keep them pretty on par with one another. Sure. When I level them and stuff like that. Right. So. I want their stats to be, you know, similar. Yeah. To one another. Yeah. And I can't do that with Blissey. I just cannot. Sure. So then that's that's the question for you all, I guess, in the in the comments down below. Let us know what you think of, of that disparity. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Or, you know, can you see at least see where Amy's coming from if you do disagree? Because like I said, I definitely see where you're coming from. I just... To me, it's not as big of a deal because I I'm, I am want to be able to parse out in my mind, like, okay, like you were trying to do in this battle. Okay, uh, electric attacks are likely going to be more specially, uh, specially based as opposed to physical, but you know when Luxray came out, okay, we can't put Blissey in here because it's likely mostly physical. Right. Luxray's got high attack power, so we're going to try to stay away on Blissey on that, but... Then with other attacks, like, okay, we know that it's going to be Charge Beam, or we know it's going to be Discharge, or Thunderbolt. Okay, this is where Blissey can shine and live these big hits. Friggin' Bullet Seed. <laughs> it did, did uh, 15 damage to you. Anyway, so that is going to be the end of this particular episode. I really hope everybody enjoyed. Amy has eight gym badges now. How does it feel? Good. Good. Uh, so next week we will be back with more as I said please don't forget to do all that fun YouTube stuff we discussed it already I won't bore you with it and so for now from us here at the Geek for All family of channels I have been Joe and I'm Amy and as we always say in whichever video of ours you watch next we will see you all next time thanks everybody